Is the government controlling the weather? <laughs> Are chemtrails real? Are noxious chemicals pissing from the sky? Is the U.S. military R. Kellying us? Let's start with what the government has admitted to. As part of the U.S. attempt to win the war in Vietnam, the military engaged in secret weather manipulation in Southeast Asia. Operation Popeye. <laughs> Their objective was to make the monsoon season longer and flood the Ho Chi Minh Trail, which was the supply route for the North Vietnamese. Using silver iodide, the American jets created the clouds. Whether the program was successful or not remains to be debated. <sighs> but even the New York Times and the Washington Post wrote about how that whole program really was like a real thing that people did. Like that was an idea they had to just like manipulate the weather to just kind of like win a war. In 1977, an international convention banned weather manipulation, and they said to the USA, Bad boy, you're a bad, bad boy. In 1992, there was the invention of HARP, which was more weather masturbation. Oh, m manipulation. Funded by the US Air Force, the US Navy, and DARPA. Don't worry, they closed it down. <laughs> but why would they build it in the first place? To destabilize economies, ecosystems, and agriculture. What would be the motivation to want to control the weather anyway, right? Like you could create famine, or you could create a circumstance where you flatten a city because it isn't doing what you want it to do. Or maybe you could create confusion around climate change and everybody wondering, oh, is it a man-made thing or is it something the government is doing? Because I want to know, is it my consumerism? Is there something that's happening that I can't change and stop? Both the United States and Russia have capabilities to manipulate the weather for military use. So if you're questioning if chemtrails are real and poisonous chemicals are being sprayed on top of you, well, I will say that poisonous chemicals are in the food, poisonous chemicals are in your products, poisonous chemicals are in all the plastic. So, um, <laughs> yeah, we should do something about them. Oh no, worrying is exactly what they want us to do. So instead we can be healing to the body, be healing to the spirit, and then we can have the <sighs> ability to withstand what's going on. Yeah! <laughs>